And tonight, Jacksonville Beach Police renewing their plea. They want anyone with information in the shooting death of a local father of four to come forward. Officers are also narrowing down their timeline of what happened Wednesday night in the Lake Sanctuary neighborhood of Jacksonville Beach. We first told you about the new updates today in a push alert as police provided us with that updated timeline and the route that they're now targeting in their investigation. News for Jackson reporter Joe McLean joins us live from the scene tonight. And Joe, police want to speak with anyone who was in that area Wednesday night. Right, specifically the area right back here, Sanctuary Boulevard, a few blocks there. And then the right behind me here, this is Sanctuary Parkway, and this goes back to Beach Boulevard. That stretch as it comes along here and merges onto JTB. We'll show you a map in just a second. But Jacksonville Beach Police described this as sort of like a puzzle piece, cases like this. And right now they're trying to get as many pieces as they can to get a full picture of what happened. And that's where they say you can help. On Friday, police continued canvassing the Lake Sanctuary neighborhood, using some canine units from the local U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office to scan for the smallest clues that may have been left behind. Jacksonville Beach officers are investigating the death of a 33-year-old father of four who was shot and killed in front of his two-year-old child Wednesday night. Jacks Beach police say they want to talk to anyone who was on this section of Sanctuary Boulevard and Sanctuary Parkway, where they meet JTB on Wednesday from 7 7.15 in the evening to 8 o'clock. One clue that police are no longer searching for, though, is a black SUV, which police now believe was the victim's vehicle. The main message that Sergeant Tanya Tater pushed today is the critical importance of information from average citizens. We have been on this case from the start. We're not going to stop until it's done, but we do need help from everybody um, to help us put these pieces together and find out who did this. On Thursday, the department put out a call for any home security footage in the area, which might provide key details in the investigation. In this doorbell camera footage, you can actually hear gunshots being fired on Wednesday night. Police did find shell casings from a handgun at the scene, as well as a damaged tire, though it's unknown at this point whether that's related to the investigation. And police also uh, emphasized today that if you were in this area Wednesday night, uh, specifically, again, between 7.15 and 8 p.m., that anything you saw can help, even if what you saw was nothing. They say it's because even uh, witnesses coming forward and saying uh, what they didn't see, if they didn't see anything sus uh, suspicious or anything out of the ordinary, uh, even that information helps them understand uh, what was and wasn't happening in this area and where to direct their investigative resources. So it all helps. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station. All right, thanks, Joe. And you'll want to take down this number if you have any information about that case. This is the Jacksonville Beach Police Department tip line. Just ask for an officer working the case. They'll direct you. Again, that number is right there on your screen, 270-1661.